Traditionally, when people talk about the history of the web and the, and the history of the internet, they always come back to the same things. They come back to you know, Van of Arbush and, uh, and, and the Memex and uh, the Space Race and um, uh, ARPANET and you know, these, these government-led, US government-led uh, initiatives. And um, whilst they were very important and they're actually ideas two and three in the book, I thought there must be, someone must have imagined something like the, the web um, on the internet before it existed. Whilst I was kind of scratching my head and trying to think about um, or discover an early piece of science fiction, I saw a quote by um, Vint Cerf um, online somewhere that talked about um, the idea of the internet being born in Belgium. And I thought, that's an interesting thought. I've never, I've never heard of that before. When I looked put into it, of course, he was talking about um, Google's um, sponsorship of the Mandanium. And when I actually looked into um, Paul Lotte and um, Henry LaFontaine, I actually realised that actually kind of the, the, the truth was stranger than the fiction. And these guys have not only kind of had the vision uh, of the way they've actually implemented it, and I love the idea that they actually tried to actually develop a paper-based version of, of the web. And when I looked into it in a bit more, I actually realised that they'd kind of gone beyond the web in some ways. And it was more an implementation of what Tim Berners-Lee calls a semantic web, where not only had they, they recorded every document, they'd also tried to record the relationship between documents. And um, I thought that, was, that would make a nice and beginning and end of the book. So if I started with the Mandanium and finished with the semantic web, I thought that would be two nice bookends, if you like, for the the hundred ideas. Good luck and good bye.